Hello and welcome back to Pancake Plays Tales from the Borderlands. When we last left off, we were going to be looking at a map in the biodome to find Cordis's upgrade. Ooh, map. I think the technical term for this is highly goddamn suspicious. What's that? Map. What, what, what kind of map? Unclear. The markings on it seem deliberately obscure. Oh, how fun! Like a treasure hunt map! I love the uh, Gordis. Yeah, Gordis, something like that. But it doesn't appear to lead to anything, so I doubt it has anything to do with your upgrades. Mm. Well, at least we took it. Mm. Who else can we talk to in this room? There's nothing else to interact with. The bots. Oh, free. Fresh fruit. I'm here. Find something? Yeah, drake fruit stash. Like actual drake fruit? Can I have some of it? Someone took a bite out of the only fresh piece. So sure, if you want cooties. Do it, get cooties. This is weird. I think someone's been living here. Don't worry so much. Maybe he'll be nice. Or she could always be a she. That's true. Oops. Find anything? Not yet. This place is disconcerting. How so? It's Atlas, and nothing has tried to kill us yet. That's true. Oh, what, what is? Don't kill me! Question mark? No idea. Please, please don't kill me. I, I, I've just been watching you. Just, just watching, that's all. I swear, I am completely harmless. There is absolutely no need for you to kill me. I, I assure you. Just no one's down. killing anyone. But you need to calm the hell down or up your meds, okay? Of course. Of course. I just don't... Uh, run into many people on my travels. In fact, I rather make it a point not to. Hey there! That little robot's why we're here. There's an upgrade somewhere nearby. We're looking for it. Well, I, I, I can't help you with that. I know nothing about it. So, you should leave. We all should leave, all of us, going our separate ways. I can leave right now, in fact, and if anyone asks, not that anyone would, of course, but I, I'll tell them, I'll say, I didn't see you. Hey, stranger, relax. Think of a calm place. Your trusting place. Let's go back there, together. Yes. Yes. Terrific. So, how about you tell us what's actually going on? I... I just... I... I, um... Ah, oh, uh, your, your friend there. Does he happen to suffer from artificially induced hemispherical abdomition? Yes. Paralysis? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question, Vaughn. Why didn't you just say paralysis? Because he's not technically paralyzed. Uh, the contortion, the blinkless eyes, all signs of a toxin called... Than a topsoil. Wait, wait, wait. You've seen this before? Yes. If you let me get a better look at him. Well, then you can fix him. Of course you can, right? You're a doctor. We have no idea if he's a doctor. Let's just assume that he is. Yeah, I want to fix Vaughn. Help me get your friend on the table. There, good. Bully, here we are. Actually, young lady, I could use your help. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. What am I doing with this? You're plunging it into his heart. <gasps> so, what now? I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. What? Uh, what? I thought you knew. Someone help me! 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 Help
Someone please spit in my eye or lick, lick my eye. I don't care. Oh lick me God, in the, eye. the toxin turned him insane. Or into an eyeball fetishist. He's dehydrated. <laughs> but the shot you gave him should help. Oh, 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 man. Oh, that's the stuff. Oh, <laughs> Thank you for blinking. Oh, God. Well, glad I could help. Well, hang on there, Doc. If that is your real name. It's not, and I never said it was. Well, I'm not done with you yet. There's no need for you to be this suspicious, surely. But I just helped him. <sighs> Very well. I'm on the run, you see. I have lost everything. My wife. My son. My cat. I did not lose them in that order, though. I, I lost my wife first, then my cat, then my son. So, wife, cat, son. You're Good thought to of becoming a professional storyteller because I gotta tell you, your sense for crucial information is just... Reese. Forgive me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed human contact. Uh, perhaps I've forgotten how to talk to people. You must understand, I've suffered months of wandering, isolation, skulking from one location to the next, broken, ashamed, homeless. I got here to this place only minutes ago, so... I'd ask that you leave me now to my demons and go. That's a lie. I saw your clothes. That's a sad story, but I still don't trust him. Me neither. I do! Is that dumb of me? I found your clothes. Clothes? You're gonna tell me it's not yours? It's the exact same outfit you're wearing right now. Or is that just an odd coincidence? You know, you seem like an intelligent man. Thank you. I am. You've probably figured out by now that the easiest way to end all this and get rid of us is simply tell the truth. I'll tell you what you want to know. Follow me. I am... Um... The bunker within that jungle. I suspect it contains the upgrade you're looking for. I wish I could tell you more about what's inside, but I was never brave enough to check. The problem, your problem, is the Atlas automated security system that surrounds said bunker. Isn't it always? If I were you, and in this instance I'm relieved I am not, I'd gain access to the security tower, which is... There. <laughs> I can get in and disable the security systems. Easy. Not easy. Not at all easy. But your best option, nonetheless. Automated security system, huh? Huh. Just realized the acronym for that is ASS. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's probably why no one calls it that. <laughs> hey, Reese. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna disable Atlas's ASS. That's <laughs> 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 so good. What kind of defenses are we talking about here? <laughs> oh, the usual medley of turrets and laser grids. Self-regulated, self-controlling, all lethal, of course. Reese, that sounds like something you can handle, right? Please, in my sleep. So we're done talking, then? We can actually go secure this upgrade now? Fiona, while Mr. Robot Eye here hits the security tower and hacks the defenses, you and I will infiltrate the bunker and grab the upgrade. Let's get this gorgeous piece and get out of here, huh? Awesome. This is incredible. Confidence. That's good. Okay, little update from me, uh, which is... I feel terrible. Not good at all. And I'm sure I've got some residual nerve damage. Oh, almost certainly you do. Right, thank you for that input. So, I'm gonna maybe chill out here? That's cool with everyone? Uh, yeah. That's okay. I'll go with Reese. Probably should take that out of your chest. There's a lot of stuff I can do, right? Huh? I mean, I don't have a robot eye. I'm not a highly trained assassin. Also not particularly charming, but but I can still do stuff. Yeah, I, I, I can do it. I'll, I'll figure out something to do back here while you're gone. Have fun, everyone. Being awesome, I guess. Hey, I got a job for you. Use the computers in here and find out whatever you can about Atlas, Gordas, or the vaults. You've come to the right man. Oh, he still has it on his chest. It's so gross. All right.
everyone knows what they're doing? Yeah. Uh -huh. yep. And with a plan like this, what could possibly go wrong? Everything. So, despite my incredible leadership efforts going unnoticed, Sasha and I went to go brave the catwalks and find the security station. <laughs> How are you not permanently damaged from all this brain trauma? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. I've got a tough noggin. Just ask Vasquez. Or, never mind. Huh. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Perfectly fine, huh? Finger guns, but we could have done it back. You're not as useless as I first thought. I mean, when I first saw you guys, I thought, wow, no wonder Hyperion isn't what it used to be. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I know it's a hard thing for you to say. And I appreciate you appreciating it. <laughs> you know, when I first saw you at the deal with the uh, nose ring boy, I thought, uh, these two don't know what the hell they're doing. You weren't wrong about that. I can't believe he pointed his gun at you back there. Yeah, well, he wouldn't have pulled the trigger. You sure about that? Yeah, I saw it in his eyes. Oh. August was a mark. Nothing more, nothing less. Ooh, nothing less? I don't know why I said that part. I felt like I was supposed to. You spend a certain amount of time with someone. You, you get to see a side of them you might not have been expecting. Oh, huh. right. So what you're saying is he was really into guns. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. They're so pretty. They'll probably kill us. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Me either. Let's see where this goes. Just thinking the same thing. <laughs> okay, we are pretty high. Jump. You have a problem with heights? Sometimes. Just most, mostly when I look down. <laughs> well then, don't look down. <laughs> don't be scared. I won't let you fall. Aw. Okay, come on. I believe in you, Reese. Wow, you made that look really easy. Well, that's because it is. <laughs> right. Okay, go time. <laughs> oh, I failed. Uh, little help? You just needed to run faster. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Hope you brought some bug spray. <laughs> Sasha! I'm all right! Don't look down. Okay! And don't puke on me! No promises. All right, all right. Just stay calm. You've got to climb up. Robot arm. Stronger than regular arm! You're doing great. It's true. Oh. Oh. 
I'm faster. Oh, I'm going as fast as I can. It's gonna go. Hold tight. Just hold on, okay? It's gonna take a little longer. Dead. Losing strength. Reese, I'm letting go. What? No. There's no way you're getting up that with me hanging on you. No. No, Sasha. I won't let you go. You have to trust me. I'll get us out of this. It's okay, Sasha. Reese. Sasha. No! Wow, we are really close to the ground, aren't we? <laughs> you sure know how to make things dramatic. I mean, t to be fair, you, you, you did tell me not to look down. Well, that is true. You can drop down now. Yep, okay. Okay, you is, can you, get down now. Yeah, down. And for the record, I didn't let you fall. Whew, we made it. I'm, uh, I'm glad that you didn't plummet to your death. Aw, me too, buddy. Aw. So, right, the turret controls we need to get to are back up there. Guess we'll take the scenic route. All right, and we're going to stop it right there. I'll see you next time in Pancake Plays Tales from the Waterlands. Thank you for watching.